Kristaps Porzingis. Very, very unique talent. Plays above the rim and also plays behind the arc. You know, I've been talking to a lot of GMs. They all love Chris. They think he's a top five talent in this draft. There's a little bit of a risk attached to him, but the upside is worth it. I realized I could play in the NBA one day. When I was 18, after a European Championship, a lot of people started to be interested in this young guy from Latvia, this skinny white dude. You don't find many guys who are seven feet, maybe seven foot one, who are just as skilled as he is. The first thing that sticks out is that jump shot. I mean, his mechanics, his confidence when he shoots it, it's effortless. You get the feeling that every jumper is gonna fall. I'm a versatile forward. I can you know, stretch the floor, I can play under the rim, above the rim. I'm a good rebounder, and when I get stronger, probably I'm going to be able to play multiple positions. That combination of shot blocking and three-point shooting, it's very, very hard to find in the NBA today. There are really only a handful of guys that do it. That's why I think he's so coveted right now. I played two and a half years professionally. I've been around professionals a long time. Spanish league is very competitive, so there's a lot of competition. Over in Europe, I mean, he's playing against pros, he's playing against grown men. That's uh, obviously a big difference, you know, from what most of these college guys see on a weekly basis. That's the biggest transition that a lot of college kids in this draft are going to have to make, is playing against men. And that's something that Kristaps has already been doing. That's going to make things easier for him, for sure. Two of the players that I admire are Dirk Nowitzki and Paul Gasol. I follow KG. I've seen a lot of his highlights. I've studied his game. Uh, now I love how Anthony Davis plays. I try to simulate my game to, to theirs. Well, it's going to be a few years before Porzingis is really an impact player. Uh, 220 pounds. He just doesn't have the bulk right now to play down low, and I'm not sure he's skilled enough with his handle to be a, a forward out on the perimeter just yet. There's plenty of potential award, but also some risk attached to him. I think a lot of NBA GMs are worried about Europeans that they don't love the game as, as the Americans do. I have that in me. I love the game. I'm a student of the game. So we'll see what happens on the draft day.